Batman is bad superhero because he don't kill the people that kill hundreds of people daily. Is that he's just not powered? No, the powers part doesn't mean anything. Captain America and the Winter Soldier aren't super powered. They only yeah, they have are. super soldiers in them. That does that doesn't count. That's, super that's powers. More, that's more than what Batman has. Batman is probably as strong as Steve Rogers, and he hasn't even taken super soldier serum. Not even joking. Batman. Apparently, there's a comic book that uh, tells you Batman's workout routine. This man doesn't sleep. He sleeps for five minutes each day, at most. I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's to the point where Batman is starting to bench press semi truck. Yeah, but like. I'm not saying that Batman is the all-time worst, he's definitely a good superhero, it's, um, it's the fact, specifically Joker, specifically Joker is the problem. Batman does not, he just lets Joker get away with everything, because all, Joker can rape, murder, and kill thousands of people in Gotham. What does Batman do when he finds it? Sends him straight to Batman. I mean, where he breaks out in five minutes and then does it all again in the next day. I mean, to be fair, he does like, uh. He, he like. He, at least one of the movies, or the. No, it was Injustice. He like blows up an entire city with a nuke and kills Lois Lane. No. What happened was, uh, he got some, I forgot what type of kryptonite it was, but there's a type of kryptonite where you can alter the mind of Kryptonians and make them see what you want them to see. He got a hold of that kryptonite, made Superman think that Lois Lane, who was pregnant with Superman's unborn child, was doomsday, where Superman then flew... Lois Lane into space and back down into the earth. Um evaporating her but body. But it must have been a different arc. Cause there was one where like the Joker ends up nuking a town and killing, killing Lois Lane and becomes like insane and kills everybody including like Flash. That may have been King Joker. Watch King Joker is one of the most powerful. I think he's just that powerful or a little bit weaker. No, he's a little bit weaker than the Darkest Knight. And the Darkest Knight is a uh, Joker. Well, Darkest Knight is technically a variation of Bat. So, King Joker is the strongest form of Joker, I think. The worst part is, is that the the only reason why Batman doesn't kill Joker, or there's two reasons, but the main reason is that if Batman kills Joker, Batman won't be able to stop himself from killing multiple people. In that case, you shouldn't be a superhero if you can't have self-control. Just like Superman, he kills he kills Lois because Joker, well, that wasn't his fault, but then he goes and kills Joker and then takes over the whole world. You can't be a superhero if you can't have self-control. No. That's not a superhero, that's a liability. That isn't true. And Superman, in his universe, is the strongest person in the universe. Not even- Kryptonite doesn't kill him, it just makes him weaker. It doesn't actually kill him. It needs to be in his blood in order for it to kill him. 
Wait, are we talking about Batman or are we talking about Superman? We're talking about them both. Jeez. Right now, I'm rant. Listen, they're both not superheroes. They're liabilities. Because if Batman goes crazy, he has contingency plans that he can use to get the rest of Justice League members and everyone else. If Superman goes crazy, then Superman doesn't need contingency plans. He just kills them. That is true. Flash... Flash is different. Flash will... Take out all of your bones without you even feeling it. And he'll only do that if he truly needs to. But even then, there's not many people that can truly stop Superman. The only people that can 100% guaranteed stop Superman when he's bloodlusted is maybe Lucifer and maybe the one above all. Or the presence. I forget which one is for what. You really did storm full rant about it. Yes. Also, Reed, I would suggest uh, if you did record that, cut it out of your video. You are going to get death threats from Dick writing Batman and Superman fans. No, because I already recorded it. I'm not going to cut it out. Get ready for anyone that is a true-hearted dick writing Batman and Superman fan will hate and probably you for not putting it out. Today we mourn the loss of Mr. Lex Luthor, who was sadly killed by Superman who spiked his infant super baby at him at Mach 10 speed. Unfortunately, this will be a closed casket funeral due to the fact that all that remains of Mr. Luthor is a pile of dust.